I love a good Penang Thai curry, but instead of making a curry with the Penang paste today, I'm going to use this paste and make a dipping sauce to go with some crispy fried chicken. I have six chicken drumsticks here and I'm leaving the skin on because I'm going to poach this before I fry it. So it's cooked twice, but the results are unbelievable because the meat will be falling off the bone. Here I've got some water and in this water, before I add the chicken, I'm going to perfume this sauce with some ginger and this is going to really make this chicken stand out. So a big knob of ginger there can go straight into the water and this is going to come to a boil any moment. Some star anise that can go in the water. And just with something heavy, I've got a pestle here, I'm just going to just pound at this lemongrass to really extract as many of the flavours as I can from it. Perfect. So just break that in half, squish it around and then in with the water. Now this is almost boiling so we can add the chicken. Now this chicken has come to room temperature and these little drumsticks can go straight in. And this is going to poach in this simmering liquor for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out and then place it on this rack to air dry. Now for the lush Penang sauce. Start with a little bit of oil, just a small amount because the Penang curry paste has oil in it. So just some vegetable oil is perfect. Now the Penang curry has a wonderful balanced flavour to it. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit salty, so it works perfectly for a sauce just like this. Two tablespoons in. Give this a really good stir. Once it starts to split, which it will do in a moment, we can add the coconut milk. And I'm going to use half of this can. I'm going to turn the heat down. At this stage, I'm going to add some ginger, so about a teaspoon and a half of ginger, freshly grated. Scrape that off. Perfect. Now I'm just going to allow this to bubble away for about five minutes or until it starts to get really thick. Now my chicken has come out of the poaching liquor and I've just allowed it to cool here. Before I start to remove the skin, I'm just going to set up a production line for my crumbs, egg and flour. So two eggs into a separate bowl here. This is also called pané, which just means crumbing any type of meat just like this. So two eggs, a touch of water can go into the eggs and give it a really good whisk to combine the yolks with the white. Perfect. And now in another bowl, just a little bit of flour. Now we always start with the flour when it comes to crumbing. So first goes the flour, then the egg, and then the crumb. And now for the chicken. Now it's very easy. All I do is just pull away the skin. See how that comes away? So just cut the knuckle, and that's very soft there, soft cartilage, so the knife should run through that very easily. And then run your knife around the bone there and just give it a good scrape. The chicken looks much more appealing when the bone is nice and tidy, just like that. Looks like little lollipops, chicken lollipops. So now what I'm going to do is place this chicken into the flour and you want to lightly coat it, dust it off with your hands, then that goes straight into the egg. Take that out of the egg and then straight into the flour and give it a really good coating. Okay, that's looking perfect. I'm going to continue these and then I'm going to fry them in oil that's at 180 degrees. Fantastic. Now let's get back to this sauce. This has boiled for the five minutes and I've just allowed it to sit here. Now to correct it and always with Thai sauces like this you do want to correct it with the sugar and a spoonful of the sugar to start with. Balance it out with some acidity so I'm using lime. This is a really juicy lime so I probably only need half of this and we can use the other half to garnish. So good squeeze straight into that pot. And for some saltiness, a little bit of fish sauce. Don't overdo the fish sauce because it can overtake. So just a small amount in there. And it's always best to put a little bit, have a taste and then correct it again. So let's stir all of that in. Perfect. And just with a little spoon. Yum. 
And now I'm just going to pour this directly from my pot that has a little spout. So just carefully pour that so there's no spills. And then I'm just going to pile up this chicken. Now sometimes when I'm making this for my friends, I put big chunks of cucumber on the plate too, so you can have a bite of this crunchy, luscious chicken and then a bite of some freshness with a cucumber. So that's also a great idea. And then just some sprigs of coriander can go in and around the plate. I'm gonna dig in right away to taste this. And look at that, see how that sauce sticks? to the chicken. Mm. Oh, that is unbelievable. That's Thai as you've never seen it before.